What's up guys, it's Eric from Rare Candy, and today we're back with another entry into Battle on a Budget, where we take a look at some of the more budget-friendly options that the game has to offer that don't require quite as many of the staple cards that are kind of expensive that some decks play. So for today we're going to be taking a look actually at a new deck that the new Evolution set gives us, and that's going to be Machamp and Machamp Break. So mainly featuring the kind of reimagined uh, Machamp back from base set, updated with new artwork. I'm sorry, uh, new attacks, but with the same artwork and everything. So let's take a look at the Machamp that we're featuring in this deck. So like I said, it has that old school base set artwork, which is nice. It has 160 hit points, which is great for a stage 2. Unfortunately, it is Psychic Week. That means things like Mewtwo and Gardevoir will be able to kind of easily knock this thing out. So that is definitely a downside. But it has a kind of fun ability that we are going to kind of center this deck around. That's going to be counterattack. So if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon and is damaged by your opponent's attack, put three damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. So we also run things like Burst Balloon in this list as well. So we are doing all sorts of things to try to punish our opponent for being aggressive against us. Uh, but then Machamp, we also do need to attack with it. We can't just rely on that to take knockouts. So it has the attack Seismic Toss for three fighting. It does 120. Uh, not the greatest attack, but luckily it does two-shot uh, pretty much everything that's relevant in the game currently. So the math for, for the attack works out nicely. That's going to be Machamp. We are also running one of the other Machamps. This is the Furious Fist one, but it did get a reprint in the Generation set. So this is legal still. Uh, but it has the ability Fighting Fury. Each of your fighting Pokemon's attacks do 20 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. So... It's kind of cool. Uh, we can buff our Machamps a little bit. Uh, but this is kind of a luxury card. If you do want to just cut this in favor of one of the other Machamps we just talked about, uh, feel free. I think that's fine as well. Um, but either way, I figured we'd throw this in the list just to see how it does. And also, since this is a Machamp break, we obviously have to run the break, like I said. So we are playing two of Machamp breaks. Uh, I know it's not a high count, but honestly... I think this card is best just for the HP buff, and its attack is kind of situational, so luckily you don't need this out all the time. So that's why we're only playing two of this. But it has the attack Boomerang Lariat for three fighting energy, same energy cost as the regular Machamp. It does 100 damage, and during your opponent's next turn, or I'm sorry, during your next turn, this Pokemon's attacks do 100 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. So ideally how we want to use this is, let's say we attacked somebody with Machamp, we did 120, we use Boomerang Lariat to finish off the Pokemon, and then once our opponent promotes something fresh, maybe like an EX that has 170, 180 hit points, um, or even a Mega, um, we use Seismic Toss the following turn to knock out whatever they promote. So that is the ideal situation of how we want to use Boomerang Lariat. We want to use this attack to finish off knockouts, that way we can set ourselves up for one-hit knockouts on the following turn. Okay, so Machamp is kind of a slower Pokemon. It's a stage 2. has kind of a clunky attack cost. So how are we going to get around that? And that's going to be with Carbink Break. So Carbink is an awesome Pokemon that got printed in Fates Collide. has this nice ability, Safeguard. Prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon, by your opponent's Pokemon EX. So luckily the format is very EX heavy at the moment. And Safeguard kind of lets you wall for several turns to set up some Machamps. Uh, so, you know, things like Volcanian EX, uh, Mega Rayquaza, Mega Gardevoir, Mewtwo, uh, Scizor, Eveltal EX. There's so many popular cards that can't attack this guy. So if that's why he's good. Has the ability, or I'm sorry, the attack power gem. Not too relevant. Uh, the attack on the break is what we actually want to be looking at. So Carving Break gets a nice, uh, an okay little HP buff to 110. Not too relevant, but the attack diamond gift is why we are playing this. So for just a single fighting energy, does 20 damage, and you attach two energy cards from your discard to one of your fighting Pokemon. So that means you can get basic energies or strong energies, since it doesn't specify uh, if it has to be a special or basic energy. So we, again, we can just wall behind Carbink Break since it retains the ability of the regular Carbink, and start setting up our Machamps, or even if a Machamp or two gets knocked out, we can maybe in the mid to late game promote this guy and kind of re reset and start to refill our bench with some powered up attackers. 
So that's going to be it for the Pokemon. Pretty straightforward. Machamp takes up a ton of space in this deck since it is uh, a stage 3, essentially. <laughs> so not too much extra space for tech uh, Pokemon or extra frill cards. So moving on to the supporters and draw engine of the deck. We're playing 3 Professor Sycamore, discard your hand, and draw 7 cards. Just a nice, very powerful form of draw support. Also playing 3N, each player shuffles their hand into their deck and draws equal to the amount of prize cards they have left. So N is definitely strong because in the early game you might have a lot of pieces of evolutions and rare candies in your hand. And so you might not want to discard them with Sycamore. So N is nice in the early game because you typically go down prizes first. So it punishes your opponent for being aggressive, which is a theme of this deck. Uh, and then also lets you refill your hand size. But Sycamore is still good because we can... It's just a nice, powerful form of draw support, and we can get energies into the discard as well. So, two Lysander, switch your opponent's bench Pokemon with one of their, I'm sorry, one of their bench Pokemon with their active. So, it just lets us choose what we want to take knockouts on. Uh, one Hex Maniac. Uh, this is good against Greninja. That's kind of a bad matchup. can also be good against the Baby Volcanion to prevent them from, like, for example, if you have a uh, Carbink setup and they only have like uh, the regular Volcanion and they don't have a way to retreat into the uh, benched one, you can play Hex Maniac and prevent them from kind of picking off your low HP attackers like Carbink and the Chops and stuff. But it's mainly for Greninja. I think that is the, the one deck that this really has a problem against. So you definitely want to be able to play Hex Maniac in those situations. But like I said, there's other cute little instances where. Uh, the card can come in handy. Uh, three versus Seeker, just to reuse those supporters uh, that we just mentioned. Uh, three Ultra Ball, discard two cards from your hand. So search your deck for any Pokemon or reveal it. Put in your hand, shuffle your deck afterwards. So let's just grab anything out of our deck. Our Carbink breaks, uh, Machamp breaks, Machamps, since none of those are searchable by Level Ball. But also we can put energies in the discard pile as well. So three trainers mail, look at the top four cards of your deck, reveal a trainer card you find there, put into your hand, shuffle your deck afterward. So just a nice little consistency booster, uh, especially a lot of times we will be digging for things like rare candy uh, if we don't get it off of the supporter. So we'll need to play trainers mail to kind of dig a little deeper for certain cards sometimes. Uh, one super odd, just to recover some evolution pieces if we need to, maybe if they get knocked out or if we have to sycamore some stuff away early. Four rare candy since this is a stage two deck. So it's cool because it lets you skip the stage one and go straight to the stage two if you have a chop out and play. So just helps get our Machamps out a little bit quicker. And you know, we're always trying to play any decks that run rare candy. We got to represent for the name of the channel, you know. <laughs> and uh, we have three level ball here as well. So it's cool because we get Pokemon under 90 hit points, reveal it, and put it into our hand. So this helps set up our board, get down our carvings, our machops, and everything like that. Okay, then we also play three Scorched Earth. So once during each player's turn, that player may discard a fire or fighting energy from their hand. Uh, and when they do, they draw two cards. So we're not playing anything like Shaman in this deck. So Scorched Earth offers a nice form of draw support that actually ties into the strategy of the deck. So we can discard energies with the stadium to draw cards and then just accelerate them back onto our Machamps with Carving Break. Four Burst Balloon. So this is another way we're going to punish our opponent for being aggressive against us. So Machamp already uh, makes your opponent take three damage counters for attacking into it. But if you attach this as a tool card to it, and your opponent attacks into it, they take an, an additional six. So that is really good because if our opponent attacks into a Machamp, they will take nine damage counters, and then a Seismic Toss can actually usually knock them out if they're just a regular EX. So we're definitely trying to punish our opponent here for being aggressive against us. Uh, and then last of the trainer cards, just one Floatstone. The Pokemon this card is attached to has no retreat cost. Uh, luckily for us, uh, manually retreating is not the worst thing in the world since Carving Break can re-accelerate energies that we have to discard from retreating, but it's still nice to have a free retreater on the on the field at some point uh, in case something gets knocked out. It's always nice to be able to promote something with free retreat 
and then kind of decide what you want to use later in the turn. And for the energies, we're just going to be playing uh, six basic uh, fighting energies and four strong energies. So this is one of those awesome cards, uh, special energies that got reprinted in Fates Collide. And it can only be attached to a fighting Pokemon, but when it is, uh, the attacks do 20 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon, and it provides a fighting energy as well. So this is cool because it just buffs our Pokemon, and we can accelerate these energies out of the discard pile. Uh, so that's really good. So yeah, guys, that is going to be the list we're going to try out for Machamp. Uh, I'm going to switch over to the battle portion of the video, and let's see if Machamp can do some work and uh, hopefully take a win for us. All right, guys, let's see if we can make something happen with uh, our Machamp deck here. I'm just going to call the coin flip, uh, which we do lose, which is unfortunate because this deck is pretty slow, so it's uh, usually not fun to go second. But nevertheless, we're going to try to make this work. This hand is a little rough, though, i got to say. Oh, well. Let's see, our opponent's playing Mega Altari EX. That's not a card you normally see. Um, just had to kind of read it there. Um, I already forget what the card does. I think it's like 100 plus 30 more, and you heal 30 from all your Pokemon if you healed your uh, your Altari of that turn. I think that's what it is. But here, our starting hand is not that great. Um <laughs> We'll have to Sycamore, I mean, getting rid of the Strong Energy is not a big deal, but to get rid of a Machamp and a Rare Candy and Super Odd, that, that I think will really hurt us, so I'm not too excited about this. Um, here our opponent's going to start setting up. They got an Energy down on their Altaria. So we do get Carbink, and here I'm just being, we can Sycamore, I mean, we're going to have to at some point, but... We might be able to just attach to this Carbank and pass. If they whiff the DCE, we will be able to rear cane into Machamp and uh, Sycamore away this hand. So that's what I've opted to do. It's a little risky, but uh, unfortunately it didn't pay off since our opponent does have the double colorless energy. But it's okay, we still have some more Machops in this deck and everything is just a non-EX. So them getting that knockout isn't too... Uh, heartbreaking <laughs> but luckily we can at least shuffle that machop back in uh, before we sick him more so i think we're still okay because our opponent doesn't have an immediate way to deal with this uh current carving so grab that bursting balloon um forgot about scorched earth i think we need to do that discard the fighting energy nice so we have ultra ball if we can get level ball that would be even well we need level ball and ultra ball here i think so I think I probably should have Trainers Mailed first to see if we can get the level ball, because we need Carving Break, but we also need a Machop as well. So I'm just taking a look, see what we have in the deck still. Um, okay, I think I think we have a Machamp prized if I saw correctly. Um, let's see. So yeah, luckily we did get the love ball, so we'll grab ourselves on the chop. That way we can power this guy up with our carving break. Okay, and yeah, we're just going to see a diamond gift for 20 damage since this Altaria is resistant to fighting. Uh, but here we'll just start powering up this Machop. I uh, didn't feel a need to put Burst Balloon down on carving since they probably can't uh, attack it. Oh, but our opponent has a Lysander and an Enhanced Hammer. Okay, so this is not good. Our opponent takes out our only Machop and gets rid of our only uh, attacker. <laughs> or only power up attack. But luckily we top back a strong energy. And here we can just end. Uh, put our opponent down to four cards. And hopefully we can start setting up at least one Machamp here. Here we're just going to Diamond Gift again. Uh, we could kind of hedge against our opponent having Lysander by attaching a Burst Balloon to this Machop. Uh, in case they have another Lysander, but I, I felt like we're ending them down to four cards. Uh, they still don't have a Mega Out, so they probably want to draw more cards. But here, unfortunately, our opponent does have another Lysander off that end of four. So, that's not good. I don't know if I'm... Maybe may, maybe that was a misplay, not attaching the Burst Balloons. I'm not sure, but I felt like the odds were decent that our opponent wouldn't have another Lysander ready to go like that. And we're going to Ultra Ball. We definitely want to get out. 
uh, another Machamp, because we are going to need a Machamp at some point. Um, you know, Carbink is great for powering stuff up, but is not an efficient attacker. And you have to imagine at some point they will have a non EX that they can attack us with. So here we're going to grab an N, put them down to three cards. So even though our opponent is taking an early lead against us, we are able to at least punish them by continu continuously ending them like this. But luckily we, we finally got a turn where we could put two Machops on, on the board at a single time. Okay, so the hand we have to work with isn't the greatest, but luckily we can still just kind of wall behind behind this carbink. Uh, the only way I could see a problem is if he had like a Hex Maniac or Fighting Fury Belted Xerneas back there. But here we get a Scorched Earth, which is great. We can maybe attempt to draw out of this hand here. And there, I was just uh, reading the Mega Altari just to make sure we knew what it did. But cool, so we got a Machoke. We can... So we haven't attached for turn, but I might even just save the uh, save it to potentially use for Scorched Earth next turn. Uh, just because uh, if we just save it, we have the option of discarding with Scorched Earth or attaching it to attack with Machamp. Uh, since Machamp will be able to knock out this Altari on the next turn, so that'll be nice. And so what does our opponent have here? That's the question they have this beat up mega altaria i'd have to mention they probably want to retreat um so they can are you serious they're going to lysander again oh my god that's so frustrating we finally had <laughs> a machamp uh powered up we were one turn away okay but luckily we do hit rare candy so we can get out a machamp unfortunately it's not one with a bunch of strong energies on it and even if we attach and attack with this Machamp, it's not going to be enough to actually knock out this Mega Altaria. So unfortunately, we just have to Diamond Gift yet again. But luckily, we can get some of those strong energies we discard and attach them to our Machamp. <clears throat> but on the next turn, we should be okay. We can just retreat and probably knock out whatever they promote there. Um, I am slightly worried about this Xerneas at some point because it might be able to knock out our carving potentially. Um, since, well, actually, no, it wouldn't because I think Xerneas only does 100 damage, not 110. Uh, but they can potentially use that at some point to try to take down our carving break. And it looks like they're opting to power it up maybe for that reason. So here we're going to see a Geomancy. That seems like a decent play. You can hide behind a non EX. So what do we do? That's the question. Let's see what we top deck. Uh, just another fighting energy, so we can probably use Scorched Earth uh, and draw some extra cards if I had to guess. But here, I might just attack with Machamp, because I don't think they can one-hit KO us at all. But this is kind of a weird hand, like, I kind of want to Sycamore and get out the break, but at the same time, I don't want to get rid of three Burst Balloons either, <laughs> so that's kind of annoying. Kind of an awkward hand we have to work with right now. But um, at least we can get down a Burst Balloon, and here I almost forgot to attach our Burst Balloon. So we'll do a Seismic Toss 160, I believe. Yeah, 160. Taking our first knockout, and so if our opponent attacks into us, they have to take 9 damage counters, which is crazy. So let's see if they will go for the bait. And I'm just going to sick them more away. And like I said, I don't believe this Altari can actually knock us out. So uh, I'm feeling pretty decent about our position, especially since we have a Lysander in hand. And they play Rattata to get rid of our Burst Balloon. Our opponent has been trolling us so hard this game. Uh, but here we're going to see a Shining Land attack into us. But um, I'm kind of okay with that, to be honest. So what do we do here? That's the question. We can knock out this benched Mega Altaria. Um, I'm, I'm hesitant about leaving the Machamp in the active here. Well, we definitely want to attach a Burst Balloon to him, no matter what. So what do we do here? Do we just try to... Oh, yeah, I think we can actually take a knockout here, yeah. I uh, forgot about our strong energies. So we can potentially... Yeah, so that seems good. We can end them down to two cards. That seems good. And we'll be able to finish off the turn by taking a knockout here. 
in here. Just gonna use level ball. See what else we have left in the deck. We do have a break in there. Uh, but here, yeah, we're just gonna see a seismic toss for 140, exactly enough to knock out this Altaria. And we actually got a break off the prizes. That's cool, that'll buff up our HP a little bit here. So we see a Fairy Guard come into play. And to be honest, even if they knock out our Machamp here, I'm not too worried about it because I feel like our opponent really does not have a way to respond uh, to a car bank. Here our opponent's going to sky return us and here we went from being down on prizes pretty significantly actually to making a bit of a comeback. So we have a Lysander we can take out I think maybe our course of action is to take out um, a Shaman with the Machamp Breaks attack and then our opponent is going to have to promote an attacker at some point. So on the next turn, whatever they promote, we can do 262 with a Seismic Toss on the following turn. So yeah, we're going to see Boomerang Lariat, Knockout Shame, and like I said, go down to one prize. And then, like I said, our opponent will have to inevitably promote an attacker. And here our opponent doesn't have anything else to work with, they just concede. So we went down from being like, what was it, 6 the two prizes uh, initially there, uh, but luckily Carbink was really uh, a pain for our opponent to deal with, and that helped us really keep being able to reset up our board every time they would take out on the chop on the bench. So guys, that's going to be uh, Machamp. I think it's a pretty fun deck. It's always fun to play decks that troll your opponent with things like burst balloons and things of that nature. So definitely a fun one. But yeah, guys, that's going to be my champ break. I hope you enjoyed this video. As usual, feel free to like and subscribe. And don't forget to check out our merchandise over at rarecandytcg.com. If you could pick up a shirt or a playmat or something, it would definitely help us out a lot. But with that, I appreciate you watching, and we will see you for the next one, okay?